Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger and I'm back with another wrong build video, this time the DB5. Let's go. Before we get into the video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I know there's a lot of things on YouTube that you could be watching, but you're here with me and that means the world to me. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers and I really couldn't have done it without you. And because of that, we've created a Discord with over 7,000 members. You can go in there and find people looking to group up on Need for Speed Heat, Level 50 Cruise, Forza Horizon 5 content. All the things racing are in that Discord, as well as my buddy Dave Loves Games, who plays nothing but FPS games. So if you're into FPS, you can also find players for that as well. Click the link in the description down below, and now let's get into the video. All right, the very first thing I wanna do for you guys is give you the engine for the car. This is the best engine after all my testing, and that engine is the 710 horsepower 3.9 liter v8 engine this is the one that you want to buy it's four hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars, so you're gonna have to save up quite a bit to get it um this one and then i've got all the ultimate plus engine parts ultimate dual turbo five by three pound nos already equipped and my track parts are already on here so let's go out to sonic let's take a sonic run and then i'll give you my full track build including the live tuning settings let's go all right here we go sonic test let's go all right, so it's very slow off the line, as you can tell. I couldn't even get around that Mustang. Um, <clears throat> it's not super fast uh, out of corners or off the line, but for some reason it has decent top speed. It's got uh, it's got pretty good gearing in the top of the in the top of the gear range. Of course, I hit the barriers on this first run, but we're rolling with it, dude. We're rolling with it. I'm still getting over being sick, so uh, sorry about my voice. It's just heavy, dude. The car feels so heavy. Oh my goodness. I was going to leave all these crashes and all this stuff in. So why not, dude? Let's just keep going. This is not about it's not about a time. This is about showing you how the car drives. So anyway, the car just it just doesn't handle super well. It's got a really wide turning radius. So it doesn't have it doesn't oversteer at all, which is what the RSR likes to do. See how slow it takes turns. I mean, it's just it just doesn't accelerate out of them very well. So it's pretty a pretty slow car, but I don't know, man. It's it's one of the better looking cars, to be honest with you. A little bit of English style up in the game, you know what I mean? I think they intended this car to be an off-road car, mostly. It's definitely something that uh, it feels like an off-road car. When it hits a jump, dude, it takes off. It flies really, really well. So I think they meant this to be an off-road car. So I'm really looking forward to, to doing the off-road tests. Like, dude, look at the understeer on this. It's insane. I shouldn't have to brake on that turn at all. But watch what it goes from 200 to 230. Not bad, dude. It climbs fast. <clears throat> now you're at 235. Easy. And it cruises at 235, which is great. But the top speed's really not that bad. I expect it to do pretty good in the dirt, honestly. What a horrendous time for Sonic. I sat for, like, three seconds in that little building cove, but... Anyway, we're leaving it in, dude. We're leaving it in. Why not? 259.64. We're definitely not writing that time down because that's terrible. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how it handles. It handles terribly. <laughs> it handles bad. But uh, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Let's take a look at <clears throat> the live tuning and the and the full track build, and then we'll move on to another build. But uh, just to give you an example of the the handling there, that was the Sonic run. So. Anyway, here we go. Here's the full track build. So you got that 710 horsepower, uh, 3.9 liter V8 engine, ultimate plus engine parts, dual turbo, five by three pound NOS. You guys should all know that by now. For the chassis, we've got the super track suspension, elite brakes and elite race tires. Drivetrain is elite plus clutch, super plus six speed gearbox, not the seven. Doesn't need a seven. It kind of maxes out with the six. Uh, and then the super track differential. Auxiliaries are gonna be uh, NOS duration and NOS refills. Uh, as far as the live tuning goes, you've got steering sensitivity plus two, downforce zero, which is uh, default, traction control off, drift style on gas. This is how it performs the best. I did a lot of testing and this is how it's gonna be. So anyway, that's your track build for you. That's the engine that's fastest for the car. Let's move on to a drag build. All right, so to turn this into a drag build, as always, we're gonna switch to the one by 15 pound NOS. 
We're gonna leave the track suspension, but we'll go to a drag tire. So all the way at the end here, drag tires, there we go. And then we got the Elite Plus clutch. We're gonna test all the gearboxes. So I wanna make sure we have one of each. We'll get the five speed in here. And we're gonna leave the super track differential. It's the, it's the stickiest, it's the tightest. So that's what we're doing. All right, now we need, uh, we need to go outside the garage and take a look at each gearbox, see which one gives us our best quarter mile. All right, so starting off with the four speed gearbox, let's see what we can get in terms of a quarter mile. 9.63, let's drop the downforce down. Doesn't really help us too much. 9.63 is very slow. Let's, uh, let's swap it over to the five speed real quick. Five speed makes a big jump in the car rating. 927 so that's a little better but still not great 927 for the five and let's go with the six which is the best track gearbox 917 so we're getting better we're getting better All right, let's see what the seven looks like it's probably going to be the six but let's take a look at the seven 917 for the six speed let's see here let's see 917 for the seven so we're going to just leave the six speed in there so if you're gonna drag race this thing, definitely six speed transmission. That's the five, come on trigger. So leave the six speed in there, swap to drag tires, swap to one by 15 and you've got yourself a drag build. Throw up that build card, bro, let's move on. 710 horsepower, 3.9 liter V8, ultimate plus engine parts, dual turbo, one by 15 pound NOS, super track suspension, elite brakes, elite drag tires, and the elite plus clutch. Super plus six speed gearbox, super track differential, NOS refills, NOS duration, and then the live tuning is gonna be plus two on the steering sensitivity and minus five on the downforce, traction control off, drift style on, gas. So that's it. So now what we need to do is make this thing drift around and we're gonna use, it is a rear wheel drive car, we're gonna use the rear wheel drive setup that I usually go with. So let's swap back to the five by three pound NOS. Let's switch over to the speed cross suspension. We're gonna leave the drag tires we're gonna keep the six speed gearbox. We're gonna swap to a pro drift differential. And then we gotta make sure we have tire smoke, dude. Gotta have tire smoke on this. Why do I not already have this on here? Tire smoke, and we're going blue, bro. We're going blue. There you go. Yeet. All right, here we go. It's a big whale of a car. It is a beast. What is happening? I can't turn it. Here we go. Oh my God. It's so heavy, it doesn't want to turn. <clears throat> you gotta, you gotta hit the e-brake or the handbrake in between turns or it will not turn. It's so heavy. It's just so heavy. It scored, scored decently for being terrible. <laughs> it scored all right for being heavy. We need to get a little more speed. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, turn it, dude. It's <laughs> so slow. You have to plan your, your turn like way in advance. It does not want to turn, but I think it's going to score really good. Did I miss that checkpoint? Oh, it gave it to me. Oh, thank God. Oh my god, it's insane, dude. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Bro, 88,000 is really not bad at all, dude. Not bad at all. 88,000. That's my record on PC. I'm recording on PC today. My record on uh, Xbox is like 120 with the, uh, the, with the RX-7. Not bad, dude. 88,000 for this thing. Really, really not, ba not that bad. I'm, I'm surprised, bro. I'm surprised. It's so terrible to control, though. It's so terrible. We need to make one more change on this, and we're going to go for this again. Hold on. Let's, let's let's back out of this. Let's make a change. We need this live, the steering sensitivity all the way up. All right, here we go. Try it, try it again. Try it again. There we go. Oh, steering sensitivity does help a little. Not going to lie. Don't hit that building, though. Oh my goodness. Oh, stay close to the course. Don't get, don't get, ah! All right, here we go. We're doing this. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be a way higher score. I can feel it. Man, the amount of counter steering that you have to do is absolutely insane for this. 86, dude, it really wasn't that much better. But I do like the, the feeling of it more with the steering sensitivity high. So we're leaving it just like that, dude. This is it. This is actually a good drift build. It's just so slow to turn. 
Like, if you have to turn it back and forth, you gotta hit the handbrake. It's just not gonna work unless you hit the handbrake. So you gotta do it. Just remember that. This is a good drift build, though. This actually does score pretty high. You could probably do... You could probably do the uh, all the drift events in this in this build right here. All right, throw up the build card. We got that 710 horsepower engine again. Ultimate plus engine parts, dual turbo, five by three pound NOS. Like always, we got the super speed cross suspension, elite brakes and elite drag tires. We've got the elite plus clutch, super plus six speed gearbox and the pro drift differential. Uh, auxiliaries plus our uh, NOS refills, NOS duration, doesn't really matter. Live tuning though is gonna be plus five steering sensitivity, minus five on the downforce, traction control off, and drift style on gas. That is it for the drift build. We're moving through this video today. We're going hard, dude. Let's go to the off-road. Let's go. All right, here we go, man. HTV2, my expectations are pretty high for this. I know we're gonna start slow, but we're gonna get going, dude. We gotta get going. That's all right. We're going to cut this corner a little bit. It's okay. All right. Felt like a pretty slow corner. It doesn't seem to want to turn very well, but it does pick up speed okay. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Slides around the corners really fast, though. That was actually nice. I like this. It's moving now. 144. Dude, this thing's an absolute rocket ship in the dirt. It's not super quick. And it's not very fast on the pavement, you know what I mean? But it is quick in the dirt. It is fast in the dirt. I'm expecting a decent time on this. Just get straight, get those, get that traction down. Here we go. Doesn't clip super hard. Slides really nicely around the turns. And you can NOS for your speed here 145 on that section is actually really insane we just got to gain traction again so we can hit the nos like i said it's not very fast on the street but as you can see i'm just busting fools i gotta go on the inside on this one otherwise they're gonna block the heck out of me inside baby let's go all right nos it up last little straight before the Final turn and the finish. Hit the flag. There we go. I'm waiting for that NOS to come back, dude. Under 150. Oh, 150, dude. Actually, that's not bad. That is really not bad for how heavy this car is, dude. How heavy this thing is. Not bad. 150, 48. Let's write it down. All right, over to Rumble we go. All right, here we go on the Rumble test. I don't really know what to expect. It did a decent time on HTV2, but it... I don't know, it, it just doesn't have the cornering ability, like it feels really slow in the corners. Slow to slow down, slow to accelerate, so let's just see what happens. Ooh, a little framey there at the beginning of the race. Let's hope that calms down a little. Alright, it feels good so far. It slides around these turns very, very nicely. It's got great top speed when you're going straight. But around these corners, look how slow it is to get around the corner. See, I, I don't... I don't know if that's going to equate to a pretty slow time here on, on Rumble. I don't know if it's going to be slow or if it's just going to be like, you know, I don't know. Just slightly above average. We'll see. <laughs> I'll just keep repeating the same thing over and over again so you guys get it. Slow in the turns. Fast in a straight line, dude. I think we're probably looking at a time of around 315, 316. At least that's the way it feels right now. What did I say? 315, 316? 9, 10. What are we looking at here? 12. Oh, a 312, dude. I was wrong. I said 315, 316, but we went 31301. Write it down, dude. All right, so that puts us at 503 combined. Let's just take a look at the, the list here. 503 combined puts me at like number 11, dude. 503 combined between Rumble and HTV2, that's number 11 on my off-road list, dude. This is awesome. We found another good off-road car, and it's this DB5. I'm excited about this, dude, because this thing was an absolute poop on the track. So anyway, let's get this uh, this off-road build card up here so I can show you my build. Let's get this video done, dude. All right, so we got that 710 horsepower, 3.9 liter V8s, ultimate plus engine parts, ultimate dual turbo, the 5x3 pound NOS, Super Rally Suspension, Elite Off-Road Tires, 
uh, Elite Breaks. I skipped that for some reason. Elite Plus Clutch, Super Plus Six Speed Gearbox, and the Super Rally Differential with uh, NOS Refill, NOS Durations. NOS Durations? Hmm. Uh, live Tuning. We got Positive 5, Plus 5 Steering Sensitivity, Minus 5 Downforce, Traction Control Off, Drift Style on Gas. This is it, bro. This is it. This is a nice little off-road build. I'm actually surprised. All right, let's wrap this thing up, dude. All right, so if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I'm just gonna give you a brief summary on this car. First of all, it's terrible on track. Absolutely terrible. It's uh, terrible on drag as well, but it's all right on drifting and it's really good off-road, dude. This is a great off-road car. It ranks like number 11 on my list. I would recommend it for off-road and everything else. You can just leave it alone. But you know what? As I was going through the customization options of this car, that makes sense. There's a lot of off-road customizations for this car. A lot of like light bars and aggressive bumpers and like, you know, those big American like super skid plate type bumper things. I don't know what they're called, but that's what I'm gonna call them. Super skid plate bumper things. Anyway, there's a bunch of that, dude. And that makes perfect sense. This car was designed for this game to be an off-road car. I'm very surprised and I like it. I'm excited about it and I'm gonna use this off-road. But uh, aside from that, dude, I don't know, it doesn't really do a whole lot well. Drifting is all right, not bad. You could probably three-star all of the events, but I don't know, man. There's lots of other better drift cars. So off-road, man, that is the lesson for today's video. All right, thank you so much for joining and watching this entire video if you made it this far. Guys, I answer all of my DMs. So if you send me a DM on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord, I will read it and I will answer it. Not right away, because I'm busy, but when I have time, I will answer your message, so send me a DM if you have any questions about the game. I appreciate it, and uh, don't forget about that giveaway, man. We have a giveaway going right now. We're giving away three Xbox Series S consoles to celebrate the launch of Forza Horizon 5. That's going to be happening in just a couple of weeks. The game comes out really soon, so make sure you hit that giveaway video. I will link it in the description down below. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Shout out to all the malicious subs. We'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.